Welcome to Observe and Resolve, a video series designed to help you troubleshoot and analyze specific cloud native technology. There are many ways of monitoring our database activities and in today's episode, we'll explore the straightforward use case on how to collect SQL statements from our PostgreSQL database along with their duration. But we won't stop there. Creating analytics dashboards will take our insights to the next level. So we're gonna rely on logs to achieve this. So why logs? Well, PostgreSQL can generate extended logs containing details about the SQL statements and their duration. And we can even go further by adding the execution plan. But let's stay with it, just the statements and the duration. By fine tuning uh, the logging settings, we can focus on the slow queries. So let's dive into the necessary configuration that we have to do in PostgreSQL. So we will have to enable the log destinations so we can set the destination to SDDR. So you can ask yourself why SDDR and now SDD out? Well, because at the end it's a settings that is only in, in PostgreSQL that is limited to SDDR. So by using SDR, we'll be aligned with the Kubernetes standardizing logging approach. And this will ensure that our log agents of our choice will automatically capture these, those details. The second thing is the log statements. We want to have all the details of all the SQL statements running in the background. So the insert, the select, the updates, the deletes, and more. So we will have to do log statements equal to all. And last is the log duration. So we wanna also include the duration of our statements. So we will have to enable the duration. So log duration equal to one, uh, and that will track the duration of each single SQL statement. So let's have a look at the observer state uh, setup. To begin on the analytics journey, we need the right level of observability. And here is the actual plan. So we'll start by deploying the Dynatrace operator. We will use the Dynatrace operator to report uh, the inventory of our Kubernetes objects, their health, and more. Second thing, we need to collect the logs. And for this, we're gonna use Flint Bit that will collect logs from the cluster. And Dynatrace, by the way, has a pre-generated log pipelines that will simplify our journey using Flint Bit. For the traces uh, produced by our application, which is that is instrumented by OpenTelemetry, we will use the Dynatrace collector distro to receive the application traces and forward them back to Dynatrace. Let's have a look at analyzing the SQL statements. So now that we have everything set up, let's dive into the analysis of the SQL statements. So we're gonna first open the Kubernetes applications and navigate to the PostgreSQL workload. To then we'll look at the logs that is sent by Fluent Bits in this given workload. We're gonna open a notebook and run some queries to uh, do some analytics with our log lines. So we can retrieve first just the raw log lines from the PostgreSQL workload. And then from there, we can maybe extract relevant information that is available in the log content. So for example, the query, uh, the duration, and the trace ID. And you may ask yourself, where is that trace ID come from? Well, there is a project donated by Google to open territory called the SQL Commenter that is adding in the SQL the comment with the trace ID generated by the application. So that's perfect, so we can link to the trace afterward. Uh, then uh, we could take advantage of summarize to group um, the, all this by uh, SQL statements to identify the most commonly used uh, query that is running in our database. Last, we can even imagine to plot the query durations in, and then add that in a dashboard or utilizing it in a workflow. So once we are confident with this notebook, we can easily convert this, those queries into a dashboard. And then since we have a trace ID and we have extracted it, we can join spans and we can even trigger workflow based on slow response times. Imagine, let's say we have a, uh, a trace where the spans are quite slow and it will be pretty interesting to be able to notify our developers that all the transactions are slow because of a given query. And remember, all this is achieved with logs. So if you wanna try it out in your environment, good news, here is the link to the GitHub repo so you can be uh, playing with this environment uh, and enjoy and play with the different queries that we just shared in that GitHub repo. 
So if you found this content helpful and uh, you like it, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. So stay tuned for more episodes on Observe and Resolve. See you. Bye.